C-Zone is Mastervolt's monitoring system and control panel for our 2022 Embassy Dolphin SL. With it, we can access everything, including lights, water pump, fan, and inverter, as well as monitor the battery system, including its state of charge and the charging connection. This is the basic control panel on the first Embassy screen. It has a drop-down list on the left and three presets you can choose from, including Relax, All Lights On, and Sleep, but I'll talk about those later. So let's go over each item. If I click on the drop-down list, I have various options to choose from, including Favorites, Modes, Control, Monitoring, Alarms, and Setting. Modes allow me to set the lights in one way or another, such as All Lights On or in a Relax mode, which dims the lights. Control allows me to operate each item individually, including lights, and as you can see in here, the fan. Monitoring allows me to review the battery system. Alarms will list any issues that I may have with the system, and settings shows information on the device, such as the software it uses. When I go back to favorites, I can scroll to different screens other than the main embassy screen. This screen is like control in the drop-down list with a more visual graphic user interface. Here I can control what lights are on and brighten or dim them as needed. When I scroll to the next screen, it's like monitoring in the drop-down list, again with a more visual graphic user interface. I can also turn the inverter on and the batteries on and off from the screen. I can also use presets to control the lights. The Relax preset dims most of the lights when you want a more relaxed atmosphere. All Lights On does just what it says, turns all the lights on. Note, I can still control each light individually, even after I choose a preset. The last preset is Sleep. It turns the lights off and turns the fan on. I'm not a big fan of having the fan on, but then again, it's been a hot summer for us. It may be more useful in cooler weather, but I don't know. Regardless, I can control the speed of the fan to get it just where I want it. I can also set all the light intensities at once. Brighten or dim any individual light. And even control the fan. Note that heating and air conditioning are handled by a separate system, so that's on a separate video. There's now an Embassy RV Owners and Wannabes group on Facebook. The link is in the description below. We talk about everything Embassy RV, from layouts to options to dreams of travel in an RV. We even have a few song lyrics posted. If you own an Embassy RV or are just interested in finding out more, consider joining. Be seeing you. Since I've been talking about the battery system, I thought I'd add a little bit about what kind of power draw we're using. As you may know, when not traveling, we have our van parked in our driveway, and I shut the batteries off until we need them. When I turn the batteries on, everything is powered up, including the inverter and the refrigerator. This uses 8.9 amps of power, and I'm not doing anything at all. If I have just the fridge on, it uses about 5.3 amps. And the inverter alone uses about 3.3 amps. So far, all good. 
That adds up to 8.6 amps, which is close enough to 8.9 amps with a little fudge factor. When I turned everything off I could think of, including the inverter and the fridge, I noticed I was still getting a 1.5 amp draw. Not sure what that would be from, but it's something I will investigate when I have time. It's always possible there are other things that are always using power that I don't know of, or it may be normal for a lithium battery system. Just not sure. Well, that's enough for now. Hope this video has been informative. Be seeing you. Thank you.